There's something that um, uh, Devin Haney said in the blood, sweat, and tears. And he's also said in a different interview, and I, and I want to help the young brother out from a business perspective. So he was saying that, you know, basically Lomachenko, you know, is not who he's saying, you know, who he's been saying he was. He's yeah, been yeah. chasing for, for four years. He's been chasing, um, you know, uh, Lomachenko to get the fight since he was 20 years old. And, you know, he's a small guy. And, you know, he should, and he did an interview with Brian Custer. I saw that yesterday as well, where he talked about, um, Lomachenko being a naturally smaller guy, and he think after this fight, Lomachenko should just stay in the lower weights and not try to compete at 135. And when I heard both of those things that Devin Haney said from a business aspect, it kind of made me cringe as a boxing manager. And the reason why is because even if that's how Devin feels, and I'm sure that is how he feels, when, he, when you have a fight of this magnitude, even if you know the fighter is much smaller, even if you know the fighter's over the hill, even if you know the fighter is a little bit older than you, even if you know that Lomachenko, Lomachenko has lost a step in his game, you're not supposed, as the opponent, you're not supposed to publicize it in the buildup of the fight. I'm going to tell you why. Because from a business perspective, you start decreasing your value when you do win. In other words, is the fans are not going to be motivated to pay $59 if right. they believe that you're just going to come out and just whitewash them, right? You're just going to come in and just dominate them. So that's number one. Number two, from a business standpoint, when you do beat them, Deb, you know, people are going to say the same thing that you said before you beat them. Oh, you ain't going to get no credit, Deb, because he was too small for you anyway, and even you said it. Or you're not going to get no credit, Deb. Because you even said he's over the hill and the guy's almost closer to 40 years old. Uh, right. Deb, you even said that he lost a step in his game as far as his talent. So you don't get no credit for winning. So what I would say is don't say anything. What you do is what we like to call a reverse psychology in business and boxing where you start acting like you believe in the fighter. You believe in the opponent. Yo, man, he's the best thing since sliced bread. I want y'all to keep saying he is who y'all been saying he is so that when I beat him, I get my full credit. So Lomachenko is who y'all say he is. He is a, a highly decorated amateur. He has a great pedigree uh, in 19 professional fights or 20 fights or whatever that he's had. He only has one loss. The guy is just that good. He's technically sound. You got a big up. Two losses, my apology, two losses. So you want to build up your, your competition, even though you know in your heart he, he or she really don't have nothing for you because once you beat them, you'll get the direct credit that you deserve. And on top of that, you will be able to raise your stock up and people won't feel like they're cheated by paying $59 or $55 for you to just go in there and dominate it. 